tonight's fajita night. And I'm slicing the chicken thin, just like you would see in a Mexican restaurant for fajitas. This video is not to show you how to slice meat. This video is to show you how to make plantains. We'll get there in a minute. I like to cut it on an angle so that you can get the thin pieces. Almost like a deli slicer. Three breasts will usually do it for my family. Hey y'all, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Help me grow. I like to buy the chicken fajita seasoning to season the, um, the fajitas. And this is by the brand Bolner's. Never heard of it, but I know that they sell it at Walmart. So everybody could pretty much get it. I know it's on a Mexican aisle or Hispanic aisle. So um, I usually season the fajita meat with this and it says chicken and that's what I normally do. So, all right, let's talk about plantains for a second. When you're purchasing plantains, you want to get the ugliest looking plantains they got. And there's a reason for that. The uglier, darker, blacker they look, that means that's the most ripe they are. I know this doesn't particularly go for bananas, but these are plantains. And when you fry plantains, unless you want a chip, unless you want a banana chip, you want the ugliest, darkest, most ripest plantain they got. So you see what this looks like? This looks like it's been through hell and back. This thing looks like they beat somebody with this. Here's another one. It still kind of looks on the yellow side, which means this could probably still ripen a lot more. See this thing? It looks like it got into a, a fight with a cat or something. Feel them, see if it's soft. These pretty much feel a little bit ripened. They feel a little bit soft, but for the most part, I think that frying them in coconut oil makes them nice, soft, and juicy. And that's the way you want them. And I'm gonna show you what they look like. Okay, so you're gonna want to cut these. I usually cut the tails off or the ends off, whatever you wanna call it. Cut it on a diagonal. See how that looks? You can cut them a little thick. The thinner they are though, the more they're going to uh, cook faster. And so if you cook, if you cut them about the same um, thickness, when you fry them all together, you're not having to take some out earlier than others. Plus you're gonna want all those, every bit of this fried plantain.
All right. There's your three plantains. I got some skin on this one, so I'm just cutting a little bit off. All right, now that we have our plantains cut, the next thing you're gonna need to do is put some coconut oil. And this is from Costco, by the way. Um, coconut oil inside of a pan, like so, so that you can fry it. Make sure it's on medium to low heat so that you don't burn them. You want them to cook for a while. It's going to cook for a little while before it really gets done. I do need to add a little bit more oil, so I need to pour some more in. And it is solid, just some of them was liquefied. Some of it was liquefied. And for your fajitas, if you don't have a pan like this, like a griddle pan, you should definitely get one because it is wonderful cooking um, fajita meat on a griddle pan like this. So the oil is hot now, so you're ready to go, just putting them in. and just let those cook. And I'll show you what it looks like in a few minutes. You're gonna want to flip them once they get a little bit browned. See, they're a little bit browned, flip them. You're going to be flipping them quite a few times. I'm gonna turn down my fire just a smidgen so that it doesn't burn them. Make sure you keep flipping them. I'll show you. See how they look brown? Make sure you flip them again. Okay, it's been about a few minutes and it looks like they still need a little longer to fry. Even though they look brown. See how brown that looks? Still needs to go a little longer. When the plantains are really ripened, it doesn't normally take this long to fry them down because they're already really soft. But when they're halfway ripened, it takes a little while longer, FYI. I actually used to fry them in uh, regular oil, just regular vegetable oil. And then a friend of mine had mentioned that she fries them down in coconut oil. And that's way healthier for you. So I started doing it that way. And then I noticed that it was frying them way softer. It was making them way softer when they weren't all the way ripened. So I figured that that was the better option was to just fry them down in coconut oil. All right, they're pretty much ready. So they're on the dark brown, whoops, they're on the dark brown side. See that? They probably could be cooked a little bit more, but I don't wanna burn them. So just go ahead and take them out now. And if you have the really ripe ones, see mine weren't really that ripe, you could cook them a lot less and they would get to the, the dark brown that it needs to be to, um, to be done. Time for dinner. All right, here's my fajita plate and mm -mm -mm, the plantains look so delicious.